thinking of getting Tesla solar? Let's talk about what you can expect. Welcome back, whether you're a longtime viewer or a newer subscriber like Paul Bunn, I see you. I really do appreciate every single one of you. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. Now I had Tesla solar for over a year and I've done a lot of research. I've been going back and forth from the forums to Reddit, all over the place. And uh, I'm gonna let you know what to expect if you wanna order Tesla solar. Now the first thing to expect is a long wait time. Now this depends on your region and the availability of the supplies. My whole process took three months. I ordered it on July 24th. They actually arrived to install it on September 24th. Two weeks later, it was inspected and I actually got my PTO or permission to operate date on November 18th. So it's about three months. Now I've read about some people actually getting an install three weeks after ordering, but I've also heard the other end of the spectrum taking months upon months. Now it seems like the PTO date takes the longest and this is due to many factors. One is your local utility. They may take a longer time processing the information, take a longer time inspecting it, things of that nature. So it's not always on Tesla. Now, like I said, it can all happen a lot faster, but I wouldn't anticipate it. Just prepare for, you know, at least a few months. So the second thing to expect is when you need to pay your down payment or your full payment. Now, whether you finance through Tesla or you go third party, your payment needs to come five days after the inspection. So after they install it, they'll come and inspect it and then it's due within five days. They will not submit your PTO without that payment, whether it be, like I said, an initial down payment or your full payment. Now, I don't know what happens after the five days. I tried to search and search around. I couldn't really find a definitive answer to that, but uh, just expect to have that money ready after it's all installed. The third thing to expect is pretty accurate production estimates. Now I installed a 12.28 kilowatt system of 36 panels. Now my estimated annual production from Tesla is 20,030 kilowatt hours. And after one year, I got 19,948 which is pretty darn accurate. That's pretty close. So I'm pretty happy with those estimates. Now, weather is always so unpredictable, cloudy days, rainy days, but overall, I think they did a pretty good job with that estimation. We'll see if it continues over the years. Now, of course, your mileage may vary, but I'm pretty happy with my solar production versus this estimate. The fourth thing to expect is a low price guarantee. Now, when I got my panels in 2020, Tesla boasted the lowest prices in America. After the federal credit, it was about $1.49 per watt. Now, they don't advertise that anymore, but what they do advertise is price matching, the lowest guarantee. Now, this depends from a reputable company. It has to be a legitimate offer and they will match it. Now the prices have gone up like all of Tesla's products from the power wall to the solar roof to the vehicles. It's a supply demand thing, but you can feel confident in knowing that Tesla is a company that will probably be around a lot longer than some of these other companies and you get the best price out there. So think about that. The next thing to expect is either a $300 or $400 check if you use someone referral. Now, it doesn't have to be mine, but one of the best things about having a YouTube channel is knowing that you're actually helping people. Now, if you use someone's link for a solar panel system, you will get $300, they will get $300, but if you get a solar roof, you both will get $500. Now the money is nice of course, but it's a greater feeling knowing that you're actually positively impacting people. And as a content creator, there's nothing like that. Um, I will put my code below in the description and it's right here as well. If you're interested, um, thanks in advance and thank you to all of you who have used my code. It really does mean a lot. So that's one thing to look forward to. The next thing you wanna look out for is this is a mostly online buying experience mostly it doesn't have to be now it is designed to be done all online just like you can do with their cars you can talk to a person um, if you have a pressing matter or something you really want to discuss like i did 
but it's set up for everything to be done online from signing documents to picking your panel number and size, your configuration, to seeing how it's set up on your actual roof. Now, I did call them because I was a little unsure because my bill didn't reflect what I had coming. I was gonna order a second EV. So I wanted to make sure I chose the right size because my utility bill did not reflect my second EV that I planned on purchasing. So I did talk to a rep. He walked me through it. We did a good estimate and I'm pretty happy with my 36 panels it does cover everything for the most part so if you're a little old school like me i'm like straddling the line a little bit there is someone to talk to you but mostly everything can be done online you can also anticipate the installers being there for one to two days now of course this depends on your setup how many panels you're getting if you're getting power walls and things of that nature but they told me it would take two days for my 36 panels and my inverter and all the associated equipment and it did actually about a, a day and a half the installers were polite respectful and thorough with their detailed explanations of what they were doing there was a required outage to get everything up and running. This took about 45 minutes, but they warned me that it could take up to two hours. Plan on hearing some banging and uh, limited spaces around your home, but for the most part, they were in and out, no problems at all. Now, if you're a data nerd like me, you can expect to get lost in the intuitive app. Tesla being a very competent software company, the app is intuitive, informative, and dare I say it, addicting so i love seeing my panel production and the reliance on the grid you can see when you're drawing from your own energy or how much you use from your utility i love reading the daily weekly monthly reports and everything in between you can see your solar estimated value based on your local utility rates and your solar offset this is data upon data but one of the best parts about having an app is your integration with your Tesla vehicle if you have one. You can see charge stats or how much it costs to charge your car. They even throw in an estimated gas savings. I bet I save way more than that though. That's taking the average gas price. My area is way higher than average. When I'm home during the day, I try to charge my car at that time using some of the energy produced by the panels. This is another huge benefit of having solar panels. And the last thing to expect, or kind of like a heads up, if you plan on getting a power wall, don't do like I did and wait and wait and wait because they actually remove the option of picking up one stand alone. You have to bundle it. So if you're thinking about getting it and you can afford it and you can budget it right, I would get it right away. Determine if it's something that you can use down the line. And if it is, I highly recommend you bundle it in. I am kicking myself that I didn't get it. Yes, it was an extra 10,000 at the time, but it would be great for us because we have a time of usage plan. And if you have that, you might wanna look into it. There's different rates for different times of the day. When people come home from work, the rates are a lot higher. It's called a high usage time. So what you wanna do is not use a grid, you wanna use your power wall. So the sun is already going down, so you're not getting much solar production from that time. So you're drawing from the grid and the rates are a lot higher. But if you did have a power wall, you could charge it throughout the day. And when the sun comes down, you can use that power wall and really make a big impact on your utility bill and reliance on the grid. Well, hopefully I was able to help you out in any way. I've had the whole system for over a year and I love it. It was one of the best decisions I made. Thank you all for watching and don't forget, Cobra told you. All right, y'all.